got the Bobby the Bobcat 843 loaded up got the PBM half 300 affectionately known as Earl all loaded up headed on out of here Sometimes you got to get back into these little tiny places. All right, item number three. Got a 30 foot power pole all loaded up with the lumber yard. Maximizing trailer space. All everything's headed to the same direction, but not all for the same use. So everybody's been to the pump. Everybody's been to the pump every week. Everybody keeps watching the price of fuel jump. Every time you go to the pump, it's up, what, five cents, 10 cents, or even worse. And the question is, the real question is, is where's it gonna end? Where are we gonna wind up by the end of the summer? You know, it's uh, unbelievable of uh, trying to fathom being able for operations to function and operate at eight, nine, ten dollar fuel, but that's yet to be seen. So today, I'm trying to maximize trailer space, trying to maximize mileage going across the road, and I've got three pieces of equipment loaded up, and they all need to go for a different purpose, but they're all going to the same location. So to save fuel, to maximize fuel usage, I've got my Bobcat loaded up for a uh, leveling job I gotta do with it, and also uh, to unload, use it to unload this 30 foot power pole. I just picked up at the uh, lumber yard, putting in a service somewhere, and I uh, gotta get that taken out there. And then I've got uh, my Half 300 Orchard Sprayer, affectionately called Earl at our house and uh got to get some weed sprayed in an orchard so got all three loaded up behind the 01 dodge and uh not real heavy we're the half 300 it weighs i don't know about 3400 pounds and the bobcat i think weighs about 5600 got the trailer weighs 6800 i got a, a bucket and my pallet forks but um, you know, we're not, we're talking 15, 16,000 pounds behind the truck. It's, it's an everyday occurrence for this truck. And uh, so, head it out, go get an unloaded.
and made it back home. A successful one trip, dropping off three different items, two machines and a pole, and uh, strategically trying to maximize mileage with the amount of fuel that's burnt. And uh, it wasn't too bad, but about 16,000 pounds behind the truck. Oh, grossing out maybe 25, so not too heavy today. Not too light, not too heavy though. So, thanks for watching.